definitely not the way you guys envisioned this one playing out. No, not at all. You know, um, that's the crazy part about this game. You know, they, uh, Grand Rapids played hard, and they, they did a good job today. You know, you got to tip your hat to them. You talk about the way your team played, though, this season. Look back on it for you. Uh, just give it an assessment. I know it's right on the field. Um, you know, we aren't where we want to be, so all that doesn't matter at this point, you know. So, uh, you know, we got a great group of guys here, and hopefully we can put this thing back together next year. I think, Kareem, obviously, we expected you guys, you know, make it past the first round at least. So, a little disappointing, but we got to look on the bright side. You got a young nucleus. You got a team here that, that has a taste of playoffs now for a lot of your guys. Yeah, um, hopefully uh, everybody come back. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes, so hopefully we can have the majority of the guys coming back. So, How, how do you assess the year? Uh, obviously, it's got to be a little tough right now, but overall, did it live up to your expectations with the amount of guys you had come in for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I came in the middle half of the season, so um, getting to know the guys is, uh, uh, was a learning experience, getting to know with my surroundings and just the new guys. So um, hopefully, like I said, they all come back and, you know, we'll, we'll win the whole thing next year. So, What do you think now uh, in the offseason? How long? What is your regimen? Do you take a couple weeks off, heal up, or do you start getting right back into it? Uh, for me, it's a little shaky. Either continue to play for the rush or, you know, chase my dreams of going back to the NFL. So. Really? Yeah. So uh, when did the camp start for that for you? Do you have uh, any feelers out there? Yeah, I have a few. Good. You obviously, game shape is is perfect. Right? You're in, you're the guy coming in that's ready to roll. Yeah, it should be somewhat in shape. You know, still, you know, your body still, you know, wears and tears. So uh, when I left the first time, my, my body was beat down. You know, I feel pretty good now. So hopefully, um, I get signed by someone and you know try to change my dreams. All right, you get that dream. We're following you. All right. All right, no problem. Thanks a lot. Jeremy, you came over just in time for the the championship run with this club. You assess where this team is at now compared to when you guys were playing back then. Well, I mean, if you look at us together as a team, we're, we're a much better team. We, we are consistent. We, you know, we've had two great seasons, 12 and 4, 11 and 5. Um, unfortunately, we haven't got it done in the playoffs. And um, when you put those teams against each other, we're, we're much better now. We just, for some reason, are not getting it done. And it's the great thing about arena football is anybody can win any day. And that's because there's so many variables involved, and, and you have to know that going into the playoffs. So Grand Rapids is kind of taking you know, we're, what we did in 06 kind of the same route you know on the road four times and get to the I mean if they can beat San Jose it's it's an accomplishment so it's it's frustrating definitely ending the season like this but um, I think we, we had the pieces in place we just you know didn't get it done. Coach O mentioned such a young squad so many guys that are under contract that for next year the, there's definitely a bright picture when you guys all return you guys have a taste of play up football now. Yeah I mean I mean there's still a lot of guys that I mean aren't under contract but I mean that's the, that's the AFL I mean it's it's still at the end of the day of business, and guys gotta, you know, it's 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 professional football. So, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a bright future. We know every every year Chicago's gonna be a contender. You know, the coaching staff does a great job of uh, finding the right guys and plugging them in and, and having the right system for everybody. So, we know we know they'll always be a contender. Today, obviously, the most disappointing. What was the most satisfying for you this year? You know what? I, I think every year, no matter what, the most satisfying thing is just the guys you're around, regardless of the record. I mean. You can't really find a better group of guys to be around from top to bottom, and, and it's just it's it's fun coming to practice every day and being around guys like that for six months. So that's obviously the positive, and uh, you know unfortunately we didn't get it done at the right time, but you know you, you develop relationships with guys that last forever. So it's it's a good group of dudes. You mentioned you were in that golf outing, so do you want to see him and play a couple of holes this summer? Or you had enough of like Roman and being in the same dorm with him for now. Well, you know, I live with my girlfriend. So, 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 you, so you're one of the lucky guys. Yeah, you know, I get away from them. But yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I definitely like my privacy. But, yeah, um, it, it is nice. You know, you go. You, a lot of guys go back to where they're from. Sure. And I've stayed here the last two seasons um, in Chicago. So there's not a lot of guys that do. So it's, it's nice. You know, you, you get them for six months on, six months off, and you get a little dose of them. And then you, then know, you get away. Get away. Thanks yep. a lot, man. Good season. I appreciate right. the help. Thanks. Right, take care.